Hi, my name is Jenny Martin and I'm part of the 14th cohort of the Data School at the Information Lab and I'm also one of the Dr Preppers for Prepping Data where we're going to get the data for this video today. So we're going to be discussing how to append data and what is data appending really? It's kind of a way of joining together two different data sets um, in a way where you're not joining on a record by record basis because we don't have a matching column between our two data sets. It's more adding on an additional field or multiple additional fields to our data set for each row of that data. So that sounds a bit possibly a bit confusing. Let's go ahead and go to the Prep and Data website to see how we're going to do this. So the data we're going to be using comes from challenge number 22 from this year and this was talking about how we actually go ahead and create our data sets uh, for the prepping data challenges. So it's all about building up data sets from sort of having the distinct values in mind initially, how can we then go and uh, build them out into dummy data to use. So let's go ahead and look in Tableau Prep to see what we're working with. So we have a distinct list of company names and we have a distinct list of soap scents for these companies that these companies sell. What if I want all of my companies to sell each of these soap scents? How do I bring these two data sources together? So if I were to just straight away try and do a join, then there's kind of nothing that we can join on. If we try and join the company with the soap scent, then we're just going to get completely mismatched values. And if we do a full out of join here, then we're just going to get basically the soap scents and the company names, but not next to each other, just with nulls in the rows um, beside them for each of that. So that's not really what we're intending to do. We want each of these soap scents to go with each of these companies. So uh, a join straight away isn't the right step for us to take. But what if we be a little bit clever here? What if we create a calculated field uh, that we call dummy and we just use number one in this field? What if we go ahead and do the same thing in our second data set? Just create a dummy field with the number one in it. Now when we join our two data sets together, we have something to join on. And you can see that we have five companies here. We have seven soap scents. When we join on our dummy field, we now have 35 rows. And that's exactly what our appending has done. So if I add in a clean step now, then if we ignore the dummy fields themselves, you can see that for each of our companies, they have the so uh, each of the soap scents associated with them. So for each of these companies, as I say, we have one row for each of those soap scents. And that's how we've appended that data. We've used a dummy field to join the two to together and made a data append. So this can come in handy in multiple different use cases where you don't have a way to join. You don't have a common field to join, but you need the data sets to be brought together. Often an append will be uh, will be followed by some filtering, but hopefully it's clear to you what the append is doing and how to go about creating one in Tableau Prep. So thank you for watching. Please do subscribe to this channel. Check out our previous video on join types and our following video will be how to filter using a join. So thank you for watching.